What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> yeah, how's everybody doing? We are back. We are back once again. And today we got something from somebody I haven't talked to in a while. A lot of people that I haven't spoke to in a while been hitting me up. These people are no different, people. Today we are taking a gander at the Aspire Tygon Kit. That's right, people. The Aspire Tygon Kit. And how's everybody doing? You guys doing good? It's Monday. We got a new week ahead of us. We're going to have some fun. Hopefully you guys will tune in and enjoy that fun. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? That's what the fuck it's all about. Now, for people who are newer to the channel and don't know my preferences, I'm real sick of pods as of recent. Real sick of them. But one thing I never tire of, dating all the way back to like the e-leaf i just two or something like that is stick the kits devices i like sticks i like them they usually vape really cool and this one is kind of ambidextrous it can do some different shit the tank's got some cool shit going on but the rest of it's pretty simple and it's all stainless steel and shit but you know what i'm getting ahead of myself that's what the fuck i'm doing we need to get the ball rolling people and we need to do it right but since it is somewhat of a simple device maybe we'll cut down some of the sections condense them we'll figure it out but either way let's go ahead and get into it right now the aspire tygon kit is a 2600 mile 23 millimeter stick device that comes with this Tygon tank that holds 3.5 mils. You can get it in a few different shades and it sells for about 32 bucks but doesn't come out till like next month. All right, folks, let's take a look at the packaging on this old Tygon. You got some shiny shit there, I like that. Got some stuff back here and some info. And they got this slogan, Journey to infinity all right <laughs> kind of random all right so let's go ahead yeah do one of those oh and we're greeted with all kinds of stuff we got a warranty card we got o-rings we have a user manual and then we're gonna have our tube our tank an extra coil that's your mouth the lung a mouth the lung drip tip and a replacement glass nice right and then eh, last but not least a micro USB charging cable. Yeah, it's a pretty simple. Yeah, they let you know, right? Hey, here's all our shit. There you go. All right. So that's it, people, on the packaging. All right, folks. Now it's time to take a look at this tank. And I got to say, it's pretty cool. They do some cool stuff here, okay? So for one, you got your mouth to lung drip tip here, 510. It's way tighter, way more restricted. And then, of course, you know, you got your big boy hanging out right here that's big daddy now here's what's up oh, son of a bitch fucking drip tip just went flying that's fine all right now here's what's crazy i've never seen a top feel like this right so what you do is you pull up then you push back and you have a slot this is a leak proof tank they say and that is kind of cool so put it back bring it down it just falls right back into place very very neat i must say down here you got some branding and stuff but let me show you something else now this is a 3.5 mil tank they got the smaller one for the smaller kit but check it out here's our coil down here right now here's something really cool right now all the wick slots are open to the coil right as you pull the coil out it closes up the wick slots yeah check that out and when you push the coil back in it slides that cylinder up and opens the wick slots back up very cool bam so bam as soon as you take your coil out you don't have to worry about leaking because that shit is closed. I think that's neato mosquito right there, people. That is very cool. And I got to say the contact down here is nice and beefy. That's a good looking contact. Now, since you have mouth to lung and direct lung options, you got these little, little holies, right? You can shut these guys down. But if you go further, bam, you got big slot. And it's just one slot all the way around. You can either go a few holes, shut those down or big slot and I can appreciate big slots but anyway let's take a closer look at these coils real quick why don't we people and to do that we must dive down into macro mode all right folks first we're going to start with the 0.4 ohm good 23 to 28 watts and as you can see pretty standard single coil vertical with some cartoon all around it so I can dig it I can dig it see how it plugs right there with that o-ring plugs things up real nice like let's take a look at the smaller one the mouth alone and this is a 1.2 ohm, 10 to 12 watt guy. Got a little mesh screen up top uh, to avoid spit back, I assume. 
and then we got a little single vertical with some cartoon again so cool you got best of both worlds here whatever you're into you can rock out with these coils but yes that is the coils people all right folks so the design and function on here is going to be really simple this is a 23 millimeter diameter tube here right you got a fire button here one two three four five five clicks on and off it's got an led indicator there micro usb charge port would have been cooler if it was usb c but hey I'm not complaining too much, but I am a little. And then uh, 510, spring loaded, chilling up there like a villain. And I mean, beyond that, it's it's pretty, it's all, I mean, there's nothing, it's a tube. You got a spire right there. Very simple, very clean, not much to show you here, people. Okay, so performance, pros and cons, and final verdict all rolled into one convenient little package right here for you. The question is, Twisted, how does this thing vape? And I gotta say, it vapes pretty nice. I've tried the mouth to lung setup, you know, it's not my, my jam, but I did try it with the drip tip and the holes, and it's very mouth to lungy. They did it right. They gave you all this stuff to do mouth to lung. You got different airflow, different drip tip, different coil. They did it right. But, but, I gotta say, I'm enjoying this point four, and I'm a little bummed that it wasn't mesh. I know I'm just crazy. The mesh has spoiled me. I just won't mesh all the time. It's a standard vertical coil. But besides all that, big slide open. It vapes pretty nice. Now I got three milligram Max VG. I'm vaping distortion in here, actually. Um, I tried Nick salts with the mouth lung. Worked well worked well but yeah as far as vaping this point four has not been bad it's been satisfactory for me you know and you guys know i like to party a little rowdy not bad not as crazy as some of the other stick devices out there as far as rowdiness but for a stick device that can do a couple of different things it vapes pretty good in that setting okay now let's talk a little bit about motherfucking pros and cons okay just a little bit just a tiny bit pros it's all stainless steel I dig it, feels premium, looks nice, it's simple, five click on and off, 10 second cutoff, overcharge protection, blah, blah, blah. It's got all the standard stuff, okay? I wish it would have been USB-C instead of micro USB charging. Don't ask me, I'm just, everything's going to USB-C. I think it would have been nice. You know, I thought, it, I think it would have been nice, all right? I didn't notice any venting on the bottom. I'm guessing the only venting would be uh, the USB port and the button. So if you care about that stuff, I haven't had any issues with venting in forever, but Something to notice for safety reasons and stuff. Anyway, the tank's really cool, man. And they do have a smaller version of this kit, like a, a, it's a shorter battery, smaller battery, with a TPD kit, basically. Two mil tank, all that stuff. So they do have that. But this tank, very cool, man. The whole pull up, then push back, top field, never seen that shit. Like I said, you got the different coil options, the different airflow options, the different 510 options, and it seals the tank up when you pull the coil out. Very cool. Very cool little tank. Everything is all well built. This is some pretty cool shit that Spire done here for a little simple thing. It's, it's got some engineering in it. You know what I mean? They did some stuff. Leak proof. I haven't had any issues with leaking. I can't seem to make it leak. Um, I left it on the side. I've done some stuff. Doesn't leak. So that's cool. Um, and yeah, you can get in a few different colors, including rainbow and stuff. So you got all that going forward. And the price isn't bad. Like I said, doesn't come out to next month. At least that's what it is on uh, Vape Sourcing's website. But for like 30 to 40 bucks, this little kit's not too shabby. Yeah, it's like a double-edged sword. It can do well. That's not a good analogy. It's like a uh, fucking. You can do. You can vape it a couple of different ways. Damn it, and that's what I like about it. Overall, Aspire has put together a nice kit, and it feels nice too. It's all cold to the touch when you grab it. It's all stainless steel. It's kind of classy. Kind of classy for a little stick. Let me get one more tote before we get out of here, though. I think I've given you all my info on these guys. Uh, as far as coil longevity, I've only been vaping in a few weeks. I haven't. I can't give you a hardcore estimate on coil longevity, but it's not mesh, so I don't know. All right, maybe a couple weeks. I don't know. I don't know, okay? But let me have a tote. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We're going to have fun this week, people. We're going to get to some reviews. We got some build vaping reviews. We got some stuff coming up. Should be a good time. You got to stick around. Going to be some, some things happening. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got for you, people. Links are in the description. Go look around. Take that. I don't give a shit. I fucking told you, though. That can be That can be verified. I told you. I told everybody. Thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are great. You really are. Uh, remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, man. As long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies, that's what's important. 
All right. And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and this Aspire Tigon kit, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than intro fake outs.